we're here today at Surfrider Beach celebrating the sixth annual Celebrity Expression Session. Surfrider Foundation was founded right here at Surfrider Beach back in 1984 by a handful of visionary surfers who are fighting to protect this break from a beach alteration project. Our volunteers focus on issues that affect water quality, beach access, coastal preservation, and ecosystem protection. I grew up splitting my time between Malibu and Dayton, Ohio. And unfortunately, my parents got it backwards. So I went to school in Malibu in the winter, and I went back for the summers in Dayton, Ohio. I'm a strong believer in that the beach belongs to everybody. If you empower people and let people even in Dayton, Ohio, feel like they have ownership of the beach, then they're going to be more responsible and take better care of the beach. I grew up surfing my whole life. I mean, the beach is where I come for everything in my life. When I was celebrating, when I was commiserating, when I, uh, I'm you know, sad, when I'm lonely, the, the beach and surfing was, was what always made everything okay for me. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm passionate about the ocean. I don't think there's many surfers who wouldn't you know, care about marine life, uh, water quality. Uh, started out in Montauk, learned how to surf out there, and, and, and came out here to LA for work, and. It was the perfect antidote to sitting around waiting for the telephone to ring. I've been uh, a member of the Surfrider Foundation since 1984, since its inception. I grew up on Catalina Island, which is just off the coast yeah. out here. My father ran the glass bottom boat. My grandfather started those boats. All of my family has looked through the glass into the water and watched it decay. As beautiful as it may still seem to people, relatively speaking, it's, it's fighting a losing battle. Our world community takes so much from the ocean, and the ocean so selflessly gives to us. Me and my buddies, we always make a point that, you know, go to the beach, pick up one piece of trash every day if you can, and just get it off the beach or out of the water. Water, and it does make a difference. We need to all come together as a collective, especially those of us who are so passionate about the ocean. I'm about to have a child and I want to pass on clean oceans to her and uh, it's kind of up to us now to uh, really take responsibility and act. Oh, it's a pretty small ocean when you really think about it, really fragile, and that's why organizations like Surfrider are so excellent. It's like the coolest event because for every wave you catch, they donate like a thousand dollars to Surf Rider, which obviously goes very far for us. And uh, there aren't many waves. It's very last weekend was epic, and I can't believe that this is the weekend that we're doing this. I'm a longboard rider. I don't ride a longboard. I'm on a longboard today. It's going to be interesting. It's probably going to be 60s style. I don't know. Someone has to teach me how to use one of these tanks. And uh, and every wave we catch, Surf Rider makes money. So I'm going to you know do my best to eke out. He got some ways up. <laughs> the Chilean outpost village of Arica.